Hello everyone and welcome back to Art Dash. In the last mission, we have succeeded in rescuing Artanis and Kerrigan by the guidance of with the guidance of Arara. So let us see what is the next mission is. I believe Artanis want to having console with everyone though. Let us see. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Tal'Darim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. Hmm, okay, we have two options. Indian. The Selnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar, and yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. I do hope so. This is the purifier though, then slain. If it gets away, to quit it. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Hmm. So we will go with our art in this mission and take Void Rise. With this, which is, I believe, very good. So let us travel to Slain first. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. 
Hmm, you can say that again. The Dead Fleet. Wonder why they don't strike Spear of Dune, though. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Mm -hmm. So you're so full of yourself. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. Thank you, Varzin. Ruhana. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. Hmm, okay. Carrots. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Well, but I think most of their tech is quite good. So, yeah, why not? Mm, yeah, it should be good. Okay, let us see the next mission. Steps of the Right. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. Hmm. Steps of the right. So let us see the achievement. Can anniversary fight? Steps of the right. Complete the safe as right mission without losing a structure to Amon's forces on normal difficulty. I think she shouldn't be that hard though. So let us launch in brutal difficulty of course. With the new Foyt Ray. Foyt Ray will also be coming handy for all the other mission, considering it attacks both air and ground units. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. 
the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Okay, let us save at one. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Let us also make quickly. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faye Smith. We will make good use of them. Of course. I can also take this one first. Hmm, wait a minute. Sorry, never mind. Let us warp this into gateway. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. I only need to not. You have not enough minerals. Okay. To not lose any structures, right? Channel the light. Of Let us make more zealot then. Losing a unit is okay, but losing structure is not okay. So, okay, there's quite some heavy resistance. Pylons, of course. Let's just make it on the back. Okay, more the load. Mm. I shouldn't use it to make the crystal though. But yeah, all things still considered. This is quite heavy resistance though. Okay. The guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. I agree, Artenis. Very agree on that one. You have not enough minerals. This warrior awakens. Especially after Taking that much of damage. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Hierarch, I was able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. <laughs> I don't think she will mind you at all. Enough minerals. So the strategy now is just tanking it. Trying to no, I mean turtling a bit. Prismatic core online. Make mass quite ready. One more. We have no, I don't need any more probes. Mm, pylons. Okay, I will need more. Let me just put it there. You have not enough minerals. I do apparently. 
let us make more stalker. I'm here in the shadows. Yeah, and I think it's not bad of a start. Not really good, but yeah, still okay. I think. Annihilation commencing. Upgrade complete. It's Shasmatic Devil online. I can also upgrade this vessel. You require my skill. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. Really? That fast? No, I don't need to. Oh, there is. Give. But I think I can kind of lose here then. Make more pylon here. Phase crystals charge. Make more energizer if possible. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, energizer was good. I think I will patrol. Make voice race again. Energizer, I think I will need more gateway though. One gateway, just one cut it. Annihilation. The Parazine fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. Okay, let us. You must face the strength of the chosen. Calderim ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down. Okay. We have destroyed a Calderim mothership. Excellent. Only one remains. You have not enough minerals. This warrior awakens. Where is this? The troops. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Go to work in broke. We don't have enough minerals. Can you hear? Okay, let us just save at three. I don't know. Calibrating void. But should be we quite good, right? The number of I am the voice of the eclipse. This army. Under 
The fog gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Okay, 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 I will come back then. I stand ready. You must construct additional pylons. I can use the flood pylon though. You must I should not lose any ear. This pylon still stands, so it's good. This vessel that I know Under cool is wrong. Upgrade complete. We face the enemy. Maybe I need more target. Or... Nah, I think still good. Though I'm just a bit concerned. Let me just put this one fast. Okay, good thing I made we are one extra pilot there. No need to say it twice on it. Up, up and away. The light of I think. Phase crystal. Should I say for yes? I think I should. We are at full power. Processed. Under. Zaknaku above. Oops. Do not fear death. Fear Amon. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Have you come to bear witness to the end? This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. I don't think I did it though. Solar lens at that point. Or maybe I did. I believe there's war prison there. Channel the light. Ah, 
Another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. Hmm. With Exeus. Oh, do you sense it, Tarazine? A shame you'll have no time to enjoy it with Amon's forces coming after you. I live! I die! I live again! Okay, let us go back straight to the base. And let us make more than be to front though. Shield batteries. I don't know why the sound is a bit different though, suddenly. Because that immortal, Taldarim Tal immortal, die or something maybe. Want to speak but suddenly die, I don't know. But yeah, all things considered. Maybe I should add more stalker. Ooh. That's quite scary. can finish this base. It's not that hard. Okay, let us save again at 4. Annihilation commencing. And let us attack. of her charts. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. You should have everything now, face me. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. We face the enemy. Annihilation commencing. It could Okay, so... I didn't lose any structure, right? Yep. Let us And a cruel rock. So let us end this mission. Systems at full. Can I just Zach poke this way? Oops, oops, Annihilation commencing. We are one with the shadow. We face the enemy. Very wise. Mineral field. Systems at war. Under 
approach the void. Ready your warriors. No, no, no. Calibrating void. You will stand against a god? Oops. Not right yet. Oh, yes. You go to your death, Alarak. The dark god will destroy you. I have heard enough of his lies. Your ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Now the time has come. High Lord, hear me! I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward! We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. The Golden Curtain. There we go. It's not so hard, but apparently we are being used by Malash. But yeah, if it helps to win the Taldrim, why not? The Spear of Adun. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hierarchy. Well, I think are quite high from the Terrazin though. Let us speak again. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this right? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparation. Hmm. Okay, I will leave you then. For the... This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. 
suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Taldarim. With the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal, I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. Okay, fair enough though. Alarak may seem untrustworthy, but I think he lacks the finesse for deceit. Okay. Assembly panel then. The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Ah, voice ray. Passive, passive. Up to maximum 6 additional damage. Increase the range. Void ray. As it continues to attack. Okay, or destroy it. Deals damage to additional target as it continues to attack. Deal bonus damage to armor unit. This also deals bonus damage to armor unit. So, and yeah, I think I will choose destroyer because it's quite cool <laughs> for me. I think at least. And new have new products have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. Havoc. Increase damage dealt to enemies with attack frames of friendly units. Force field blocks ground units movement. Oh yeah. Cannot attack. Hmm. It's good, but I think Energizer is better. And let us go to the Solar Core. Phoenix. What will happen to Alarak if he fails? I am merely curious. If he fail, then all of the Dead Fleets will attack the Spear of Doom. I think. Carax, the Keystone, it's reacting. To void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terrazine must be directly linked to the Void. The Taldarim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terrazine and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terrazine like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. But you still have must have faith, Carax. Let us see the core. Okay, so I actually can deploy Phoenix. But I won't have Civil Shield Overcharge or Phoenix. Hmm. Or maybe Chronos Chrono Search. I think that's also good, right? To boost the upgrades that I have. Yeah, I think for now I will leave it at that. A shame. I was enjoying the solitude. Well, this is my ship though. Okay, and that is so that is all for today's video. The next video we will see how Alara will begin the ritual itself. The rock share, I believe it's called. And so, stay tuned to our dash. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.